Hi there. You know what's down there in this pond? Tadpoles. Mm -hmm. Tadpoles. John here, guys, and today we're talking about the new Armatan Tadpole, the 65 millimeter or two and a half inch micro frame from Armatan. Now they have never went this small before, but they are joining the ever burgeoning toothpick craze and their first release. Look at it. It looks like a little tiny marmot or a chameleon. Uh, I'm really, really liking this frame. Um, it is interesting that they're going with 65 millimeters. Seems like a lot of uh, folks are already moving on to three inch. Um, so I am gonna not build this up like a traditional toothpick. I think I'm gonna go old school three bladed two and a half inch props. And I'm still trying to decide what size battery and motors I wanna go with. Uh, look at how beautiful this thing is. One of the things I always like about Armitan frames is the top plate. Um, even without the hardware, look, it just fits in there so perfectly. All of the measurements are so exact. You can just put it in there and it fits perfect. Uh, it also comes with this little adapter plate that I have installed that will allow you to run a uh, toothpick style all-in-one board, which uh, these all-in-one ESC flight controller combos that are of this square size. Uh... I do like those boards. This is going to be a little narrower of a design. This is designed more like a freestyle frame, which will allow you to have um, rare for this market segment, a top mounted battery. So I am looking forward to having that top mounted freestyle flight feel on one of these frames. Now, the real question for me is going to be, do I do 3S with this build? or 4S, uh, that's gonna be the question. So for the first thing that I wanted to do was kind of measure how these fit on the top plate. As you can see, this uh, 453S tattoo pack fits absolutely perfectly on that top plate. Look at that, it's almost like it was made for it. Um, but if you look, the height of this forest pack is not much different so it would fit so this forest pack might be a stretch as you can see like the battery leads is like in a position to where it would kind of go over the front although i could put them out the back like that would kind of work i don't know if i could really mount it like this because that may run into the props depending on how high the motor sits so forest might be a little overkill. You could run a small forest pack, but these are the ones I like to run. And uh, I don't really want to get another set of, you know, like 450s or something like that. So I may end up going 3S. I'm still kind of undecided on that particular point. Comes in at 18.3 grams. Now to compare the weight of these batteries, this 3S comes in at right about 40 grams. This 4S comes in at 72 grams. So for such a lightweight frame, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and just go with the 3S for that. Just look at the arm design. It's just like everything is shrunk down. All of the things that you love, you have, instead of your traditional standoffs, your milled, beautifully milled uh, parts on the front and rear. Uh, you can notice that this one does have a very slight slant upwards from the rear to the front uh, that will allow you to accommodate some of your stock components uh, more on the front side if i put receiver and vtx up there uh, and then this also is built for a nano camera and your nano camera has never seen this level of protection uh, that you are afforded on all of armor time frame releases uh, look how beautiful this thing is so what do you guys think uh, what are you going to build up your armor 10 uh, tadpoles with are you gonna use 65 mil are you gonna use two and a half inch three blades what are you gonna do are you gonna use 1104 1105 1106 size motors 1103 thanks guys <laughs>